morning. Here I am in the studio, Saturday morning, absolutely glorious day. Not quite in my studio, as you probably realise, um, because I'm back in Lagenia, sat under my favourite tree. I've had a bit of a revelation this week in terms of my artwork and my paintings, in that I've thought a little bit about how I'm going to um, use the gardens, so the detail of the gardens, uh, to create colour. Um, so I've got some little sort of time lapses that I've done throughout the week that uh, give an example of that, and um, I'm going to walk you through those uh, now. So for example, this that I'm drawing here or painting here is based on a garden that I'm actually going to show you tomorrow, uh, which I did earlier, I filmed earlier this week. So I'm using the detail of the, um, the green of the actual foliage to create like a green page just in my sketchbook. So I'm experimenting with the idea that I would then, if I've got green, in my abstract painting, then what I would do is I would actually kind of overlay the green um, with that detail so that you get an idea of the actual foliage and it, um, it, it's more of a reflection of a garden because some of my paintings I'm not that happy with because they um, are not really reflecting the garden as such. So they're abstract paintings, yes, but I want them to be kind of both. I want them to still show uh, the garden and the kind of beauty of nature really. So that's what I'm experimenting with at the moment, and we will see how that turns out. The other thing is that I've been in working in watercolour in my sketchbook, and I overlaid that with a bit of pastel, um, but working mainly predominantly with uh, watercolour has made me kind of think that I want to do some really thin oil painting. So when I do the oil painting, actually almost like glazing over the top of the, uh, over the, top of the colour. So here again, uh, an example in purpley pink colour rather than just the green. So then if you look back at the, uh, this is the painting of Lowther that I started, not, nowhere near finished, but um, started sort of experimenting with again. I, what I need to do now is actually return to Lowther so that I can get some of those details of the, you know, the reason why I've used orange, or, orange is because of the um, beech trees and uh, so actually go back and get the detail of those trees which I can then start to overlay over the top with, um, with a thin sort of oil glaze. So I will keep you updated on what it looks like throughout the week as I experiment with that and um, show you it next week as part of Saturday in your studio. In the meantime, I'm going to be back under my favourite tree in the Genier.